Good evening. This is not about architecture. I come as independent because I'm working towards an independent digital future. So, it is 2017. Still, every two or three people in the world do not have proper access to the internet, including my islands in India. Here in Japan, it's all bright. But the people in the dark, they don't have benefits like e-commerce, online education, and social networking, as well as e-governance. This is digital divide. So why do we need to think about this and what can we do? Right now, the current model of the internet is Web 2.0, and it is based on dependence, our dependence on the government to provide us large-scale infrastructure. If we don't break this wall, then we are going to leave a lot of people behind as we move towards the next Web 3.0. How do we do this? We are currently building a bottom-up network which is independent, on which you can do everything that you currently think you can only do with a phone network or internet connection. So, what about it? Is it scientifically possible? Yes. So, let me give you all a thought experiment. When you use your smartphone to transfer files via Bluetooth to another, do you need to be connected to the internet or do you even need your phone network? No. What you're doing is tapping the radio waves. It's all around us, even in this room. I am using this particular radio waves and leveraging the power of it. Imagine you can do more than that, more than just transferring files. You can share, you can learn, you can buy, you can sell. The list is endless. This is Web 2.1. It's the next step, but the deep step towards triggering a large scale impact. Now, is it that easy? Yes, but the difficult part on which we are researching right now is to build a strong backbone, which is secure, so that you can trust the network with your personal data, right? It involves end-to-end -end encryption, a secure payment gateway, as well as a strong network, because this system is going to work even when all the communication systems are down during disaster. So this is the idea. And here, the data is protected, and the data belongs to you. So I am currently a graduate student of MIT, where me and my team is going to work on this and make sure this happens in the next two years. Thank you.